Jean-Pierre Junet as a self-taught director who was very quickly interested by cinema, with a predilection for a fantastic cinema where form is as important as the subject. Thus he started directing TV commercials and video clips, such as Julian Clerc in 1984. At the same time he met designer, drawer Marc Caro with whom he made two short animation movies, Levasion, 1978, and Le Manège, 1981, the latter winning a César for the best short movie. After these two successful movies Junette and Caro spent more than one year together by making every detail, scenario, costumes, production design, of their third short movie, The Bunker of the Last Gunshots, 1981. This movie combined sci-fi and heroic fantasy in a visually delirious story of the rising paranoia among soldiers trapped underground. With that movie they garnered several festival prizes in France. This movie also marked their first collaboration with Giles Adrian who later wrote the story of their two feature movies with them. After that Junette directed two other short movies without the help of Caro. Pa de Repos Poor Billy Bracco, 1984. Then Things I Like. Things I Don't Like, 1989. Where we could already see Dominique Pinin who will be another regular collaborator of Junette. All Genet's short movies won a lot of awards in France but also overseas and he won a second César with Things I Like. Things I Don't Like, 1989. In 1991, Junette and Caro took their first steps in a feature movie, Delicatessen, 1991. It was such a success that it won four Césars including the awards for the best new directors and the best scenario. For this movie Junette and Caro divided responsibilities with the former guiding the actors and the latter coordinating the artistic elements. And Junette showed again his liking to have Dominique Pinin, of course, but also Rufus, Jean-Claude Dreyfus and Tiki Holgado who will appear again in Genet's next movies, or Maurice Lamy who already had a little role in Things I Like. Things I Don't Like, 1989. The success of Delicatessen, 1991, even surprised Junette and Caro themselves but they took advantage of that in order to finally make their almost 10 years old project. This project took more than four more years to be carried out but the movie is enormous. The City of Lost Children, 1995, was a black tale and was so innovative at this period that they needed to create new softwares for the special effects, mostly made by Pitta. Junette and Caro kept the same responsibilities as in Delicatessen, 1991, and the movie also combined different international skills. American actor Ron Perlman, Chilean-born actor Daniel Emelfork, Iranian cinematographer Darius Kanji, who was already in the crew of Delicatessen, 1991, Americo-Italian composer Angelo Badalamenti and French fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier for the costumes. While the film was supposed to be suitable for children, some considered it dark, to which Junette and Caro replied that it was no more dark than Pinocchio, 1940, or Bambi, 1942. But these critics didn't stop the movie from being successful and when the movie gained them further attention, it was only a matter of time before Hollywood called them. Thus in 1997, Junette left France to make a temporary career in the USA for the fourth episode of the Alien series. Alien Resurrection, 1997. Mark Caro followed him just as a design supervisor but Junette brought with him a little army, of his usual collaborators, mostly French, actors Dominique Pinin and Ron Perlman, but also Pitta, Darius Kanji or editor Hervé Schneid, and for the first time Alain Carsu who later will be responsible of the special effects of Genet's next film. In 2000, after two collaborations with Caro and one with the Americans, Junette came back to France in order to make a more personal movie, even if Guillaume Laurent wrote the story with him. Thus he used a lot of different details he wrote everywhere during his life, and also recycled things he'd already done, e.g. in Things I Like, Things I Don't Like, 1989, and shot his story mostly in the Parisian suburb of Montmartre where he lives. Then the result was Amélie, 2001, starring Audrey Tautu and Mathieu Kassovitz. With this movie Junette made the biggest worldwide success of French cinema history. A real magical potion, which won innumerable awards in the whole world including four Césars. Therefore Junette won his fifth and sixth Césars. Junette eventually decided to adapt Sébastien Giprizo's book A Very Long Engagement, 2004, for which he called Audrey Tautou and Dominique Pinin again, but also many other famous French actors and Jodie Foster.
It had been one of the most important budgets in French film history and eventually had a good international success and many nominations and awards.